Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of The Long Haul. I've been crafting around, I had a little bit more crashing, but I've thankfully managed to just get it uh, sorted. Uh, I had to restart the stream a third time, but I'm waiting for Forged Iron here because I had the I had the realization because I was making a blunderbuss. And I, uh, yes, I have my tools over to... I have my tools, the smithing and weapon smithing over level 100. Happy days. But, uh, just wanted to let this craft up and I figured, let's make a crossbow. I'm like, because I'm like, why am I wanting to make regular iron arrows if I already have the crossbow schematic from day one, you know? So, let's start making some. So my iron crossbow bolts don't make iron arrows. I've done that before and I've kicked myself for it. We just need a little well, we just need a little bit of leather. Um Did I really get rid of all the all the leather? Let's go check down in the crack book. But yeah, it's like I'm like I'm like Wait a minute, I can have way better firepower at my disposal, like, uh, than just the blunderbuss. The blunderbuss is great and all. Chicken. Chicken, come over. Get over here. I want to have a word with you. Get inside, track. There we go. Chicken. I'm like, hey, like, I'm like, why do I have a crossbow? The road going west. Oh, yeah. Well, just use the old uh, stone axe on on Senior Chicken here. Okay. I want to check to see if there's any more leather in here. Um. Yes, there's plenty of leather in here. Apologies for the darkness, but that'll be enough. Like I only need two, but. I figured to have some extra on me. There we go. Crossbow incoming. And then I think I have enough scrap iron to make a iron reinforced club, so. I'm gonna get that crafted and then uh, get this stuff crafted and get on the uh, road and uh, do a little bit more exploring. I wanted to go. Uh, I want to go look at, go to the Southwest Road, just see how we're doing over there, and what we got. It's like, because I don't want to go raiding Hub City, so. Um, but yeah. And so I will let you guys know on YouTube uh, once I find something interesting. You can be like a pirate. It, ah. Damn dog. I'm, I'm glad he didn't cause bleeding. Oh, I don't like I don't like dogs on this version of Seven Days. That legitimately just scared me. Bye bye. All right, those of you on YouTube, uh, been roaming for a bit. Found a wasteland biome uh, over on the road going south. It's like it's it's not showing up on the map, but I saw it. I'm like I recognize it. I'm like. Yeah, no. I found a winter biome though. Some interesting stuff. Got the got the lumberjacks. So, you know, I'm hoping this here is not the wasteland biome continued because it's like, especially if you've been watching me on YouTube, it, I really don't like dogs. It's like they are such a pain in this version. They've been part of the reason why I. Like some of my series on YouTube have ended. I'm trying to see what this is. No, wait! This isn't a oh, wasteland biome. It's actually a. It's actually a plains biome. Happy days! Wonderful stuff. Oh, I am so happy to hear about the hill. So happy to see his 
a biome. It's like, uh, not only do you have corn. Don't hit me. Don't. Stop it. And. Oh my, another pistol. Hello? <laughs> Just trying to see if there's like more stuff coming up. It's like, yeah, it, like please a town. Like, a... wait a minute. That looks like off in the distance. It could be a town. If you see this ridge line here, like, out, just take a look at it. Uh, that looks like it's a town. This, this version of Seven Days, it's like, it's kind of like, you, when you play it so much, you learn about it, and it's like, uh, kind of, you kind of learn the ten season, and it's like, you, you see kind of like, sharp juts, uh, like, even as short as a block hit in the world, it's like, uh, and you see kind of these big ridge lines, that usually means a town. So I'm hoping this is actually a town, and, and so, if it is, I would be so happy. It's kind of like, sometimes the, little, the terrain can be a little bit deceiving, but it, it's like, uh, kind of one of those... It is a town. You can, you can barely see it, but it's a... Yep. Buildings. It's like, this is not just a crossroad. Kind of like, if it was a crossroad, that house would probably be spawned in a little bit closer, but... We got a prison. Awesome. A town. I am so happy. Yeah, I was explaining, like, you know, I was... While I was kind of looking for this town, uh, I was telling, like, you know, talking about the blunderbuss to Twitch. It's like, the blunderbuss, it's like, uh, it's such a fun gun to use. It's, uh, it's one of those you can, you have to get up close and personal with it on zombies uh, for it to really effectively do the firepower, but, uh, let me. It's like, uh, even with it knocking Bob down, it's like on the weaker zombies, it can, it can do a lot of damage. Like that. Take Penny down, and you can see it's like, uh, and so, it's like, it's even more fun with the boom. Working on leveling up the shotgun skill set. <laughs> oh, the blunderbuss. The blunderbuss. It's so much fun. Popping pills. That means we got a chemistry station we can grab up. Um, and it looks like the trader might be close to this town. One of the traders, at least. Bye bye, Merlin. Got over a full stack of water. Penny, hello. How are we doing? Um. Bye bye, Penny. <laughs> yeah, YouTube, let me run around the town. We'll get an idea of what's going on in this town, like how big it is. That butter bus. Anyway, see it a little bit. Those of you on YouTube, I've done a full lap of the town now. Good sized town. We've. And it's not too far from the trader. It looks like they're actually not far off the road. But, uh, there's some good stuff in this town. Like, I pointed out the crack of book earlier. There's, no, well, not, I meant popping pills, but there is a crack of, there's another crack of book in this town. And there's, uh, Shaga Messiah. There's Amagon Funeral. There's the Oster Hotel over there. We got, uh, got the diner. Let's search this double bag up real quick. Yeah, iron. But it's like, so we at least got ourselves a, a free chemistry station. Saw Shaga Messiah while I was doing my lab at the town. We were 
I'm just popping zombies. Uh, I'm really happy with the loadout that I have right now. It's a very good loadout. But, uh... I wanted to make my way over to the, uh... The crack of books, so... Um... Yeah, it's just, uh... It's like, there's lots of houses here. They're not, you know, not the burnt type. It's like... This is just overall a very good town. I mean, you can get it over to crack a faster, but what it is, it's like my stamina doesn't want to keep up with me, so. Um, and I cannot keep up. Well, I cannot put in another point to 60 T Rex. Uh, I need to level up athletics three more times for that, unfortunately. Yeah, we got Brother Theater. It's one of those, it's wonderful. And it's... Yeah, here we are, the crack a book. <laughs> so I figured, you know, first things first. Let, you know, because I like having the knowledge. Uh, it's it's one of those that I'm like... What? You know, like... I'm like, you know, what can I say? I want, I want the books. So, let's just break into here. I would break in through the windows, but uh, I figured the, the doors are not too tough, so... Um, probably looking a little dark in here. No, it's actually not looking too bad. Um, to have the torch out just in case. Paper. And not a SMG schematic. I'll actually just read that for point gunsmithing. Rock launcher schematic. I only got like three schematics out of the first crack, but I digress. Pistol book. That means I can actually... Hey, exploding crossbow bolts. Wonderful. Magnum Enforcer. Man, the game really was like... Like, oh my bad, I'm sorry. Like, uh, didn't mean to... Like, I shortchanged you on schematics. Let's just, uh, let's just give you some, uh... Let's make sure you, know, you get plenty of schematics here. Come here. You... I don't need you interrupting my book session. Uh, as I was saying, it's like, man, like, the game must have been like, oh, I'm like, let's just give him a whole bunch of his schematics. Hey, I'm not gonna say no to a whole bunch of those. Um... Okay. And like I say, I'm not saying no to paper. That's just blunderbuss ammo. Ingredients. Oh, Bob's body broke. Oh well. Player leg armor. Wonderful stuff. Happy to see it. And I wish the hunting knife book would actually give a point of weapon smithing. There's really not much that gives you weapon smithing points on this version. Well, for schematics, that's why I meant. Not on, like, this version's pretty good, like, you know. A crawler on a bookcase. Look, well, would you look at that? <laughs> oh. I've seen some weird stuff with crawlers in this game before. It's like, uh. It's like, uh. They're, they're a little bit. They're, they're interesting creatures. <laughs> oh, those crawlers. They love being crawlers. And, yeah, not too many other schematics in the last half, but, hey, we got plenty of, we got most of the gun schematics, so, I can't complain. I really can't. Nope. These crawlers also like to be, uh, they also like to, ooh, a little head explosion. It's like, sometimes they will hit you without sw their animation playing for the swings. Now more sham sandwiches. Mikey, you're really not the brightest star you. You should know that it went out the other door. There you go, buddy. We can let him rest now. Probably had a long day. Can't really blame the big guy. Oh well. Oh. 
or the local townsfolk wanted to come over and greet me. Mikey. There you go. Oh, Mario. Guys, I, I'm sorry, I don't have enough, uh, I don't have any more blunderbuss sample for you. I know you heard about the free samples a little bit earlier, but I'm sorry, I don't have any more. This crawler wants some crossbow bolts. There you go. Enjoy. And we'll just break up the defense for you. And where do you... Oh, there might be. Mikey in the junkyard. <laughs> yeah, marvelous. Uh, it's like happy with that little crack of a grade. Um, I'd say as a temporary means of shelter. It's like I know, say it took uh, taking shelter on the crack book uh, that I originally found, but. Eh, no big deal. We'll actually make a chest here. So yeah, guys, I'm going to run back to the old crack book. And I'm going to try to grab as much stuff as possible and move it over. I figured, you know, I want to move over to the town for a well, I don't want to have a, a long daily commute, so... Eh. So... Give me a little bit, and I, I should be back by night time. Alright, YouTube, I'm... It's a, it's a quarter till a day four, and it's a, it's been a little doozy. I'm running at night here, I got the pistol out. I'm trying to make sure I don't die here, so... I got all the... I got most of the stuff covered from the, the crossroad, so... We're looking okay on that. Just need to be careful of the zombies. Uh, I think I think I got outrun most of them on a on a flat ground. It's like I did have to take out one of them, but here's hoping. It's like I just gotta close up the hatch and then we're looking good. So I'm going to bring you in for this little the last little bit of the trek for the nighttime portion. Oh no, Marla's chasing. I am gaining distance, but I need to make sure that I watch her just to keep uh, keep myself out of trouble, so. Come on, game. She's like the only one chasing right now, so. But. Oh, boy. No, not you. Please, no. Just, just run, just run. Oh boy, we're, we're almost there, guys. We've made it. We're almost there. Oh. I think we managed... Well, she's still chasing, but... Just don't forget to close the hatch. Oh, these two are still here. I had to take out some fools. Alrighty. We, uh, we have made it. There we go. Gonna end today's episode, and that's gonna be the end of the streaming session, guys. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care, YouTube and Twitch.